tonight. Christmas is such a special time, and it's a time to spend with your loved ones, which is why I'm so grateful that you chose to spend it here with me tonight at A Very Darcy Christmas. I've got one more song for you. Play Sugar Rush! <laughs> and again, I just, I just want to say how grateful I am that you are all here, and I hope that you will sing along with this one. <laughs> Sugar rush, sugar rush With every kiss Lips like licorice Strawberry candy kiss You got me looking for a sugar fix Sugar fix Lips like bubble gum And I gotta get me some I'm so addicted I just can't resist And every time you go away Thank you for coming. Thanks so much. Hey, younger fans. That's what we like to see. <laughs> oh, Darcy, I'm such a huge fan. Would you mind? One is for me, and the other is for my friend. We went to the first ever Very Darcy Christmas oh. back when we were kids. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? Tell you what, uh, I'm going to give you this for free, as long as you promise to play it for your friends. Deal? Amazing. <laughs> Is Sugar Rush on there? Uh, no, it's oh. all new songs. Still, yeah. so great. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I didn't know they still made CDs. <laughs> Hey, sis. I just did Very Darcy Christmas. Mmm. Doesn't your agent usually book that a little closer to, you know, Christmas? Mm, if I still had an agent, maybe they would have. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It happens around the time. When... Well, it happened around March. Yeah, I don't think I would have cared much about your agent problems in March. Still there? Yeah, so I was calling because Megan is trying out for the Herald Angels. My Herald Angels? For the Christmas Carol competition? Still perform every year. Still win almost every year, too. They lost some of their strongest singers. A couple of them moved out of town, so they're looking for a few last-minute replacements, and Megan's giving it a go. Oh, that's really exciting. Well, you could always come and see for yourself. Gretchen. Come on, I know you like to keep busy this time of year, but don't you miss all the fun stuff we used to do as kids at Christmas, like hanging stockings and making gingerbread houses? <laughs> I think I would have a really good time. I think that you might too, and things have been crazy at the law firm, and after the year that Megan and I have had, I just think we could use them. <laughs> it would be really great to have you come. <laughs> and I could also use help with the decorating. You know what, let's do it. Yeah, but you know, I'll, I could use the break. I'll come in this weekend, mm -hmm. and It'll be really nice after spending a decade of Christmases apart. <laughs> decade and a half, actually. You know, I can still change my mind. Hanging up before you can. I love you. I love you. We, she hung up. <laughs>
Megan, I have a little something for you from my hometown. Your second hometown because your first hometown, Dayton. So. <laughs> An official New York City snow globe. Thanks, Aunt Darcy. <laughs> oh, and don't think of it, I forgot about you. <gasps> what is it? New York bagel! Oh! <laughs> These aren't day olds, are they? Oh, what am I, a monster? Couldn't you just get some from the store? Oh, okay, the best things about New York City are your aunt and bagels. <laughs> I have a surprise for you later also. Oh, yay. <laughs> Is that tuna nuna casserole? Tuna nuna? This is your grandmother's famous tuna noodle casserole. When Aunt Darcy was little, she used to call it tuna nuna. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I was adorable. Like, mm. Mm. Oh, I haven't had a casserole in forever. Well, welcome to Ohio. <laughs> You don't like your tuna nuna? She's nervous about tomorrow. I heard you can sing. I'm really not that good. She's really good. Mom. What? It's not like your shower is soundproof, okay? You sound really great. What are you singing tomorrow? Can I hear a little preview? Uh, I'm stressing my voice. Oh, yeah. Vocal rest, that's smart. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna go to bed if that's right. Good night, Aunt Darcy. Good night, Megan. <laughs> night, Megan. I always used to know what to say to her. I feel like every time I'm trying to build her up, she just gets annoyed at me. You're her mom. She's legally required to find you annoying. <laughs> and isn't it normal for girls her age to struggle with confidence? Yeah. I mean, you never struggle with confidence, right? Me? <laughs> Come on. Darcy, sorry, I missed you. Darcy, Matt Colabrese here from Gold Volt Records. Hey, I heard your demo, and I have so much respect for any artist out there hustling, trying to get herself back to the top. But the marketing team doesn't think it's quite right for us. But hey, keep fighting and keep writing. I know you'll have another sugar rush in no time, so stay in touch. Oh, and Merry Christmas. I just realized that we are out of coffee. Is there any chance I could bribe you to go on a coffee run? Sure, I can go to the coffee place. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey, love you. Bye. Bye. What is this? A minty Christmas mega mint latte. The official beverage of Christmas. We drink our coffee black. Adam. Sometimes, to keep the defense honest, your offense has to run the option. It is too early in the morning for football metaphors. You can't always do things the same. You gotta switch things up from time to time. We come to this coffee shop every morning. Because the coffee in school is terrible. Look, we are officially out of high school football season. And in the Christmas season. If that doesn't call for a mug of sugary minty freshness, I don't know what does. There's no way that this tastes good. Well, how about we arm wrestle? If I win, you have to try the coffee. You will rip my arm off. Then you might as well try the coffee and spare yourself the pain. That's the best coffee I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Sometimes, you gotta run the option. <laughs> wow. You will never guess who just walked in. That's Darcy. Oh, you think I can get a selfie? You want to get a selfie with her? Why wouldn't I? She's one of the great pop vocalists of her generation. Gosh, bother her and let her get a coffee in peace. Oh, she's looking right at us. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> she weighs right back. Now she's leaving. Is she smiling? Thank you. Oh, of course. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.
Cheers mm. to you. She's in the zone. Any idea what she's singing? Nope. Any idea how much she's rehearsed? No. You know I can hear you guys, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to run some errands today. Figured I would swing by the school, see the old stomping grounds, say hi to any of the ancient teachers who may remember who I am. You are a pop star. Everyone knows who you are. I'm going to ignore the use of the word were there. Bit of a burn. It's just, yeah. There. <laughs> Why don't I pick you up right after auditions? We can start the celebration right away. Sure. There you go. Oh, yes, I'm late for yes, work. Thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Bye, people. Bye. Bye. Oh, Principal Dixon. Darcy. Hi. My goodness, how lovely to see you. Oh. What brings you here? Oh, I'm picking up my niece, Megan. Of course. We've been so proud of your success, Darcy. Any guess what we play at prom every year? Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Sugar Rush, of right. course. Right. <laughs> and some of the kids don't know it's done by an alum, but the chaperones love it. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, well, I, I have to go, but it was so great to see you. Of course, of course. Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, and if you ever want to do anything for the school, an assembly, class, concert, oh. <laughs> whatever, my office door is always open. Oh, good to see you. <laughs> Megan? <gasps> what happened? I got cut. Oh, I am so sorry. I just, I really wanted to sing. And I got afraid, you know? Oh, I know, believe me, I know. Did you at least get any good feedback from your teacher? No, I, I didn't even get to finish. He cut me off before the chorus. He cut you off? He didn't even let you finish? Who is this guy? <laughs> of course. Darcy, prodigal child returns. Adam, was that you I saw this morning ignoring me at the coffee place? Not hiding, just enjoying a peaceful morning. <laughs> you didn't want to say hi to an old friend? If I had seen an old friend, then I would have. <laughs> Wait, you two know each other? We were in Harold Angels together. We had what some might call a friendly rivalry. Except rivalry implies that I had competition. Oh! Why didn't you let Megan finish her audition? Okay. I would think... As a professional musician, you would understand how difficult auditions can be. And I would think, as a professional teacher, you would understand that these are kids. Feral Angels have high standards. It's nothing personal. It's about winning. It's about having fun. And there's nothing more fun than winning. <laughs> wow. After two decades, you are still such a piece of work. Megan, you didn't do anything wrong. Okay, you are a hard worker and a good student. You just, you lack some of the confidence that the others had. I didn't want to waste your time, okay? You know, when I was your age, I lost all of the top solos to your aunt. But I then graduated top of my class, studied music in Indiana, and now I am the head of a music department that has six consecutive wins at the Carol competition. Slow and steady might not get you a, a pop album number one, but it does win the race. So I encourage you to keep working hard, okay? Darcy, this has been an absolute pleasure. Maybe we could do it again in uh, 20 years. <laughs> Good. She didn't even eat the chili? Well, it's serious if she didn't want the chili. I can get a plaintiff to confess to perjury, but I can't even get my own daughter to talk about her feelings. <laughs> you wanna give it a try? Sure. Megan? 
It's your super cool aunt. Come in. Do you want advice or silent support? I don't know, I'm just... I'm mad at myself for blowing it. You didn't blow it. Okay, I know he is your teacher, but if he cut you off, then he doesn't know what he's doing. That's not true, they win every year. It's Dayton, Ohio. Okay, I could win this competition with three decent singers and a chimpan. Do you have any of those at your school? Chimps? Singers. How many people auditioned and didn't make it? I don't know, four or five. Are any of them any good? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it happened every time. No way. <laughs> hey Jim, you wanted to see me? Adam, look who's here. <laughs> Darcy was just asking about the competition. Of course she was. <laughs> Uh, Principal Dixon, you asked if I wanted to get more involved in the school, right? Of course, we'd be thrilled. Oh, awesome. I'm starting a caroling group for everyone who didn't get into the Herald Angels. <laughs> That's really nice, but only one group per school is allowed to enter the county competition. Oh, I actually looked it up last night and the rules clearly state that if a school has two or more groups, they're allowed to decide who competes with a sing-off. A sing-off? Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you can't be serious. Two weeks from now, in the auditorium, the winning group will sing at the county competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jim, Jim, Jim. Jimbo. I have won this competition six years running. Surely you can't possibly be entertaining this it's an insane idea. A local celebrity involved with the school? Sounds like a great idea. Okay, fine. It's a thing off. Great. <laughs> okay. The old bucket on the door trick, it never fails. Hello there. Your Highness, I'm Miss Carter, the new nanny. Oh. Uh, hello. Uh, welcome. Um, the children are quite eager for me to meet you. Mm -hmm. oh, well, it's lovely of you to make the time. I think you'll find I'm quite fond of my niece and nephew, and I take great interest in anyone charged with their care. As you should be. Children, let's leave to allow Miss Carter to settle in. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? Well played. Thank you. The Royal Nanny, all new Saturday at 8. Part of Countdown to Christmas, only on Hallmark. Was talking to Megan on the way home. Somebody's aunt of the year. Well, you said you wanted me to be more involved with the family. Yeah, I wanted you to like help hang ornaments on the tree or play charades. <laughs> you didn't see her sitting there that day crying. She cried five times a week and that was before we lost Craig. She cries at songs, <laughs> movies, baby animals on Instagram. She's a sensitive soul. Well, so am I. People have made me cry plenty in auditions. It'll be nice to turn the tables on them for once. <laughs> Are you looking for a win for her, or are you looking for a win for you? Why can't it be both? Don't bite off more than you can chew, Darcy. What if I'm really hungry? <laughs> hey, team. I'm Darcy, Megan's aunt. Who here is ready to win? Not the level of enthusiasm I was hoping for, but you can work with it. <laughs> Okay, everyone, uh, follow me. Here you go.
angel's die. voice is Darcy. We need a rehearsal space. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you over the award-winning harmonies. We need a rehearsal space. Right. Hey, did I mention that we have won six years in a row? Oh my goodness, you haven't told me that yet today. I hope my classroom suits. Thank you. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. Out comes good old Santa Claus. The angels we have heard. Mm -hmm. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Heaven and nature sing. Heaven and nature sing. Singing sweetly over plains. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Heaven and heaven and nature sing. Okay, thank you guys for doing that. You you really sang those songs. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, so does everybody know Joy to the World? All right, I just want to see how you all sound together. Just a simple classic. Uh, here is your starting note. Okay. And three, four. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. <laughs> Yay. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were still here. I figured I would stay late and work on some arrangements. Am I in your way? In so many ways. I'm just trying to be a good aunt. No, I, I, I know. I respect that. I do. I also know that you heard them sing. Yeah, I did. And I know that you know where I was coming from. Okay, when I was their age and I was auditioning for scary record labels and executives, I was just like them. Difference is, you were good. No, the difference is, somebody gave me a chance. Kids need to be built up. Where you see kids that aren't ready, I see untapped potential. I see myself. You really see yourself in those kids? Yeah, I do. And if you had given them a chance and let them finish their auditions, maybe you would have seen it too. Now, for the record, I'm sorry that I cut them off early. I thought I was preventing false hope, but maybe that wasn't the right decision. You got some great kids in your group. Some of them take my class. And I hope you know what you're doing because I'd like to see them succeed. Me too. I don't want them to beat me, of course. Obviously. Yeah, but I would like to see them succeed in 99% of the ventures in their life. That's a high percentage. I'm a nice guy. started without me? No, oh, hardly. <laughs> Grab some, join in the fun. Maybe with your help, we'll be done before the sun sets. <laughs> How was rehearsal? Remember when I brought home that report card with the straight C's and I thought mom was gonna kill me? But she just looked at it and smiled and said, I see an opportunity for impressive growth. This group has quite an opportunity, believe me. Can you toss me another strand? Uh, yeah, how many do you need? I don't know. Okay. Craig always used to do this, and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to lay these things out. I'm just trying different things and hoping that it works out. I'd say you're on the right track. Okay, okay, if you guys sing any quieter, it will be a literal silent night. <sighs> Do you know why I moved to New York? Because it's not Ohio? 
Because I never would have known if I had what it took if I hadn't jumped feet first into the deep end. And, and that's what I need you guys to do. I, what, what are you worried about? Losing? Well, if you worry about losing, you know what'll happen? You'll lose. Great. Now I'm worried about being worried about losing. There is this thing called self-fulfilling prophecy. If you picture something bad happening, if you picture losing, then you are basically guaranteed to lose. But it also works the other way. So your homework for tonight is to go home and dream about what it would be like to win. Do you dream about winning, Darcy? <laughs> Every single night. It's why I sleep like a baby. You were singing. Yeah, I, I guess. Well, you can sing. Like, you can sing, sing. Like, you are a singer. Why, why don't you sing like that at school? It's just different. I mean, all those people and, and all the pressure. And if you mess up, I mean, everyone can make fun of you. It's just easier here. Wow. <laughs> okay, I want to try something. I think you get in your head when you have to sing in front of people. So I want you to sing like you're alone. Okay, we are all going to leave. Go ahead. Go. Mm -hmm. And then I just want you to sing by yourself. By myself. By yourself. I want you to turn around, face the wall, and just sing. Get loose. Get confident, okay? Joy to the world, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King, let every heart prepare him room. Let heaven and nature sing, let heaven and nature sing, let heaven and nature sing. <laughs> I have an idea. Hey, big game Cincinnati Sunday, we're going. Bengals need us. Yeah, I don't think I can. I have to work. Oh, sing off, right? Yeah, it's got to be tough going against Darcy. I'm not worried. But you know, I always wanted to be a singer. I still remember my first concert, Celine Dion. Thought maybe one day I'd be able to sing like her, but I was given different blessings. The body of a lineman and the footwork to stop a pass rush dead in its tracks. Why are you telling me this? No matter how hard I push myself, I was never gonna sing like Celine. And no matter how hard she pushed herself, Celine Dion would never have been able to flatten me and sack my quarterback. You get it what you do, man. Accept it. Uh, and give yourself the grace to enjoy yourself a big game this Sunday. You bought me a ticket before asking, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay. I want you to guys just get in the middle of the stage, all right? Okay. So I want you guys to feel the spotlight, okay? Okay. The only way that is going to feel good and right is if you really believe in yourselves. Do you guys like to sing? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like being on stage? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the feeling of that spotlight? Yeah. Yes. Do you believe in yourselves? 
Yes. 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 Okay, one more time. Do you believe in yourselves? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Okay, joy to the world right now. Here's your starting note. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. That's Let receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. that I am taking you all to Elmo's tonight. Dinner is on me. So meet me there at 7 o'clock tonight. Let's go. Hey, Megan, will you text your mom and tell her to meet us there? I just had an idea. No, that can't be good. Hey, guys, guys, how would you feel about singing one of our songs here, right now? Aunt Darcy, I, I don't God, know. I, we're having fun, we are in the Christmas spirit, so why not spread some joy and entertain some people? Okay, let's do Joy to the World, and Megan, I want you to sing lead. Me, I, I don't think, I, I, I can't. No, you can't. I'm not saying this as your aunt. I'm saying this to someone who does this for a living. Megan, you can sing. And I believe in you. And your group believes in you. <laughs> and hey, we've got to have a first performance sometime, right? So why not get up there and show them what you've got? OK, wait, hold on. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, could I just get your attention for a second? Um, I am the coach to a group of very special singers, and we have a very important competition coming up, and we would love to do one of our songs for you. How does that sound? <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, get up there, do your thing. Hey, you got this. Joy to the world. performing on Friday night at Macintosh High, so please come out and lend your support. Have a great night. Hey. Hey. You were really good. Thanks. Like, really good. Thanks. <laughs> thinking about how great she was. She's a really incredible kid, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, is it cool if I hang out with everyone? I'll get a ride home. Sure, just be back by curfew. Ooh, scouting out the competition, are we? Night in, Darcy. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> Only kind of work I know how to do. What are you doing here? Same as you. Just gonna tinker with some of the arrangements. I, uh... I heard that your group wowed everyone at Elmo's. They're coming along. A week ago, they were a disaster. And now they're great. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say great. You know, what's it like? Having everything that you touch just work right away. When I was 18, I was cooking fries at the diner, headphones in, humming scales to myself, trying to keep it down so that my boss wouldn't hear. Age 18, you were on a jet to Paris to play Sugar Rush for a stadium full of screaming fans. I... 
I envy your talent. There is no question about that. In just one week, you took those kids and you made them great. You make it seem so effortless. Effortless? Yeah, if everything was effortless, I, I, you know I wouldn't be here, right? I haven't had a record deal in years. And yet I am working harder than I have ever worked. And, and frankly, I think I'm a better artist than I have ever been. I have new songs that I think are great. But it seems like everyone is more interested in who I was than who I am. So yeah, maybe things were effortless for 18-year-old Darcy. But that was a long time ago. Can I hear one of the new songs? Absolutely not. You said that you're tired of people asking to hear Sugar Rush, and oh. believe me, <laughs> I don't need to hear that song ever again. <laughs> so, come on, let me hear one of the new ones. Yeah. Oh, just, come on, just give me another reason to wallow in my self-pity of how wonderfully talented my competition is. <laughs> Do you promise to wallow in self-pity afterwards? Oh, cross my heart, yeah. I try being wise I let myself down I run around in circles I do, I do And I find myself lost Will you hold my hand And take me where you've been I'm trying hard to find A little peace of mind So please just take me If you're not anymore, it's only a matter of time before you're a star again. <laughs> Which makes me happy because then I will be rid of you and everything will be back to normal. Well, I hope that happens for both of us. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> They're coming. This is very West Side Story right now. What What is happening? What do you mean? My group said that you wanted to meet. We wanted to meet. Both of our groups, together. We don't want to do the school competition anymore. <laughs> that's, that's great. Yeah, I didn't know that you were conceding. Uh, we're not conceding. Are you conceding? No one's conceding. We think everyone should go to the county competition. Together, we want to join forces. Their group is doing some really cool things with SRAM. I, I think they'd liven us up. Make us sound fresh. And with your <sighs> talent and experience, our group could learn a lot. So if you and, and Darcy could just, I don't know, work together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I don't really need an assistant coach. It's hilarious that you think I'd be the assistant. <laughs> you would both be in charge. Co-head coaches. We've less than two weeks until the competition. It's what we all want. Unless you two really can't work together. <sighs> Which wouldn't be setting a very good example for us impressionable teenagers. And wouldn't exactly be in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Yes. 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 After you. <laughs> this will work? It's what they want. You think your kids can come along quickly enough? I think so. Good. Okay. So, you know, we get three songs for the show. So, we can do one of my songs, then we can do one of your songs. Sounds fair. And then we just need a third song. Well, we don't 
don't need to decide right now. Okay. We're getting along. <laughs> Same team. Right. Huh? Same team. Mm -hmm. This will be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> there. OK. Let's get focused here. We're about to start. OK, let's have some fun, guys. Let's warm up. Start shaking it out. Just shake it out. OK. Yeah. Well, that's new. Hey! Hi! Ah, how'd it go? Great. You knew about their scheme? Of course. I'm the one who told them to hold the meeting outside. You always establish a neutral location for mediation. <laughs> So, you're just in time. I'm doing the stockings. I'm the reindeer. Megan is the penguin. And now I just need to choose one for you. We have lots of options. <laughs> we have this. Your stocking from when you were a child. Mm -hmm. OK. We have uh, this collector's item. Oh, no. Burn it with fire. OK. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, what about this one? Oh, um, that was. Craig's, but if you want to use it, that's fine. No, no, I, um, I'll tell you what, why don't I use this one? But if it's okay with you guys, I think we should hang this one too. Be nice to have it there on Christmas. Yeah, I, I like that. You okay with that? Yeah, I think that would be nice. Okay, great rehearsal, you guys. You are done for the night. <laughs> We're gonna go hang out. Work on our parts. I'll get a ride home. Freddie, are you a good driver? Yes, ma'am. Please don't call me ma'am. It makes me feel old. Uh, yes, ma'am. Miss, I... I'll just go. Yeah, okay. Don't do anything I would do. See ya. <laughs> 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 so what are your plans for tonight? Oh, I thought I would reheat some pasta, watch Home mm. Alone for the first of 12 times this week with Gretchen, stare at my phone, waiting for a record label to call. That sounds like a busy night. Never a dull moment. Let's go get a beer. Hmm. That sounds much better than reheated pasta. <laughs> I get so many points. What do you yeah. use your points for? Goldfish. <laughs> oh, liking the Christmas spirit in here. Oh, yeah, this place is a lot of fun around the holidays. <laughs> Everyone's in costume for Halloween. Everyone dresses up as Cupid for Valentine's Day, and everyone looks depressed for the 4th of July. Why depressed? It's British pub. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, can we get two beers? Can you go to the patio? Thank you. You were so great with the kids. It pains me to say it, and kills me to say it, but you are a natural. Oh, yeah. I've, I've been doing music for so long on my own, I forgot how much fun it is to be part of a team. Mm. You know, even in high school, before the Herald Angels, I used to love going out caroling with my friends. My mom used to push us to go out and um, spread some joy. <laughs> That's nice. My parents were, they were hard pushing me, especially my dad. So I grew up feeling that I Megan? Uh, no, it's me, your other daughter. Oh, where have you been? Uh, with Adam. Kind of late for a school night. Wait, is Megan still out with her friends? Isn't this past her curfew? Ah, oh, whatever. Now she's got, like, friends, and I never had to enforce a curfew, and now she wants to do things, and it's just insanely cool. <laughs> Sounds like cool girl just got home. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, Freddie gave her a ride home. They've been spending a lot of time together at rehearsal. I bet he kisses her tonight. No way. Five bucks. You're on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not the awkward front seat hug. Awkward front seat hug. Oh, <laughs> just great. <laughs> come on, Freddie. Pull it together. Oh. <clears throat> Mm. Hey, Mom. 
Aunt Darcy. Oh, hi, we didn't realize you were home. Oh, <laughs> how was your ride home with a cute boy? Not that I saw that you were with a cute boy, I didn't. Mom, it's Freddie. We were just working on our carol arrangement. Can we show that to the group next week? Of course. <laughs> Is this carol a solo or a duet? Good night, Mom. You guys got like a Danny and Sandy vibe going. <laughs> I don't know what you're referencing. It's a classic. They don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. You owe me five dollars. Okay. Can't even wait till tomorrow. Yeah, front seat hug. Me that she and some of the others were working on a new arrangement. I know it's kind of late to learn something new, but I told her she could teach the others today. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. yeah. Oh, I gotta take this. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, everyone. Hello? Darcy, John Arnett, Cypress Records. I heard your demo. The new stuff, I gotta say, it, it's... It's great. You know, I remember you from the Sugar Rush days, of course, but uh, this new sound, I I love it. You were a star then, still a star now. Maybe people just don't realize it yet. Oh, thank you very much. Um, it's very kind of you to say. This is usually the part where you say, but, and break my heart. The CEO does like to see his artist in person before he makes a final decision, so I am gonna see to it personally that I get you in the room with him because I know exactly what to do with you, how to sell your records. Do you have three new songs ready to perform live? Uh, yeah, I would sing a dozen if it helps me get signed. <laughs> I love it, you got the hunger just like me. Listen, make sure you're ready because you're gonna have a shot to join the Cypress family. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Thank you, and Merry Christmas, Darcy. Song. All right, they're ready. Okay. So remember, no matter what, positive energy. Yes, nothing but positivity and encouragement, and, and they'll get better with time and practice. We really stretch it out. First night of holiday break. You have earned it. I am so proud of you, and I will see you at the next rehearsal. Who's that? Oh, that's Rick, the football coach. I told him to come say hi. I think he's shy. He's shy? He looks like he could bench press a bus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've known Adam a long time. He's never been this relaxed, this close to competition. And that includes when he was a student, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a great group of kids. I'm not talking about the kids. You've had this impact on him. Oh, I'm sure he's just grateful for the help. We've had other teachers try to help him in the past. They always want to strangle him by day two. I've had that fantasy a few times myself. <laughs> <laughs> you keep up the good work. Thank you. Looking forward to the show. Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> that might be the best week of rehearsal they've ever had. They were in the zone. You look happy. I am happy. Strange. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, well, I should be going. Gretchen is making meatloaf tonight. It sounds delicious. Oh, no, she should be arrested for serving it. Assault with a deadly weapon. Ouch. <laughs> well, um, have a good weekend, and I'll see you Monday. Um, what would you think about us you know, getting together this weekend? Like, for a rehearsal? I was thinking for a date. I would be amenable to that. How does Saturday sound? Ooh, what did you have in mind? I thought we could go into town and then maybe head over to Jensen's. Jensen's? All right, I will pick you up at 7. And uh, try not to let the meatloaf kill you. Our date will be far less fun if you're dead. <laughs> yeah. See you then. <laughs> Your cheeks are bright red. They are? <laughs> hey, this is stupid. Why am I bothering? I'm gonna be wearing a hat. Why are you wearing a hat? It's 35 degrees outside. My ears are gonna turn to ice cubes. Oh my gosh, you will be inside for most of the time. Your ears will survive. Are you sure it's all right? I, I feel bad not spending the night with you and Megan. Of course. We're just gonna be watching Home Alone. I love Home Alone. Drinking cocoa. I love cocoa. We're gonna eat leftover meatloaf. This is where you say, I love your famous meatloaf. I love your famous meatloaf. Thank you for lying. You're welcome. Gosh, did I change? I don't like what I'm wearing all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, woman. <sighs> Two weeks ago, all you could do was complain about the guy and now you have jitters like it's prom night. I don't have jitters. I'm shivering. It's cold in here. He's not who I thought he was. He's actually nice and good with the kids and dorky, but in a weirdly attractive way. When I'm with Adam, just hanging out with him, it just feels good. Oh my gosh. I have not seen you this gaga over a guy since Eddie Cronauer in eighth grade. I am not gaga. And please, nobody compares with Eddie Cronauer. Oh, what a hunk. He was so dreamy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Every class has one. Okay. You look beautiful. <laughs> you would even stop Eddie Cronauer dead in his tracks. Do you mean that? Because that is an incredible compliment. Yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're Darcy's sister. Gretchen. <laughs> Hello. I, I like your hair. I like your everything. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. I'm sorry. You have her back by curfew, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. 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 We're gonna be weird about her. Said, I love your work. Not, I loved your work. Not, you were my favorite. Uh, love. Ugh, gosh. A present tense verb from a fan is a real gift. Come on, that must happen all the time. Fans coming up, singing your praises. I know what happens to me, but I am the six time repeat champion. Are you still doing that? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Adam, I cannot emphasize enough just how little that happens to me in New York. Well, there's not many famous celebrities in Dayton. There's the Wright Brothers, mm. Martin Sheen, mm. and you. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's not like I want it to be like it was when I was 20, you know, and I couldn't even go to the mall, but uh, every couple of months, a random person coming up, excited to see you. Yeah, just someone coming up and saying, hey, I like your work, keep going. We should start doing that. Just a random strangers on the street. Just random attacks of encouragement. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> yeah, young me could have used that. Who am I kidding? Old me could use that. Well, I've got news for you, Adam. I love what you're doing. Keep going. And I love your work, and you should definitely 
keep going. <laughs> Look at us. From high school rivals to adults on a date. I'd call that progress. Not rivals. Rivalry implies competition. <laughs> Why is food this good hiding in Dayton? This should be on the French Riviera or or at the top of an expensive tower in Abu Dhabi or something. <laughs> you know, I've never been in those places, but yeah, I agree. So after Sugar Rush, I went on a world tour. Paris, Buenos Aires, Rome, Seoul. Honestly, all it did was make me very lonely. From 18 to 25, I, I didn't date. I was too busy. Wait, didn't you date a Backstreet Boy? Publicity stuff. Oh, oh I feel betrayed. <laughs> so yeah, for those formative years, when I, when I was single and should have been out having fun, I never learned how to date. <laughs> Thank God. I never learned how to date. I was terrified that you'd be able to tell. You didn't date? Okay, I don't believe that, look at you. Okay, first of all, flattery received and appreciated, but <laughs> I just dated the same person for so long that I never had to meet a woman at a bar or a party or anything like that. We, we dated in college and then through grad school and for a little while after that. What was her name? Anastasia. Ooh, Anastasia. Terrific ex-girlfriend name. The best, right? <laughs> but we were just both headed in different directions. We denied it for a while, but we knew. So we ended it, and it was hard, but necessary. Then after that, I just didn't date anyone for a while. I mean, my dating pool is not really big. It's mostly moms of students, and it's not really comfortable with that but you feel comfortable dating the aunt of a student. Oh, absolutely. It's always been a dream of mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're here for New Year's Eve, this place does the tasting menu that's out of this world. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if I'm here, absolutely. <laughs> So, did I get you back in time for curfew? Ooh, with the skin of our teeth. <laughs> Look at that. That's so beautiful. Um, I... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just, um... No, I, I'm being, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm being presumptuous. No, no, you're not. I, I, uh, I, it's not that I don't want what's happening here. I like you. I really like you. <laughs> really is good. I like really. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going back to New York after the holidays, and I'm afraid that I... I don't want to get too attached. I think you are amazing, honestly. I'm just trying to protect myself. I hope that's... No, I, no, I know. It's completely understandable. I had the best time tonight. So have I. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, <laughs> good night, Darcy. <laughs> And I will see you Monday. Yeah. Good night, Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gingerbread. We are making houses. So, if you live in New York, shouldn't you have made like a teeny tiny gingerbread apartment with little gingerbread cockroaches? Mm, that is insulting. 
I don't have cockroaches in my building. <laughs> the rats scare them away. Yeah. I'm sure Christmas in New York is magical. Yeah, I'm usually working, to be honest. Doing my Christmas show, <laughs> writing to Santa for a record contract. I'm sure he'll bring you one this year. Actually, uh, Cypress Records reached out a couple of days ago. <laughs> What? what? Aunt Darcy, that's amazing. If nothing is official. I, I don't want to jinx it. Every time I get close, I feel like the rug is yanked out from under me. All I want is just to be back in New York recording music full time again. OK, I feel compelled in this moment to point out there are also recording studios outside of New York City. I love being here. But it's also scary because I don't want to be yet another former musician who leaves New York, moves home, and gives up on her dream. OK, whether you are in Dayton or New York, you will never be a former musician. I would not let you do that. I would pay to have you do concerts right here in the living room if I had to. <laughs> I wouldn't perform in here. <laughs> the acoustics in the bathroom are so much better. Diva pop stars, am I right? The demands. <laughs> I think. It's time. Ah, yay! <laughs> when your aunt and I were little kids, we would always put gingerbread versions of ourselves outside of our house because a gingerbread person makes a gingerbread house a gingerbread home. <laughs> hey, who's that? I'm Mr. McDowell Gingerbread. In case gingerbread you gets lonely. sister is going to host a big break a leg dinner the night before the show. Just a little last get together before we knock them dead at the competition. Does everyone think they can make it? Yes. Yeah. Great. All right, so let's let's get uh, started and we can Everyone who's been here knows that we always do hark the Herald Angels sing. It's our opener. Every year we do it and every year it works. But this isn't every year. I want to change up our arrangement. Make it unique. Just have fun with it, and I need your input. Do you want to change it up? I think that we should. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. 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 OK, get up on your feet. All right. OK? Great. Sasha, give us one of those beats. Put down the TikTok. That's not going to stir itself. Are you ready for your last rehearsal today? No, mom's holding me hostage. Oh, don't be so dramatic. <laughs> OK, give me the spoon. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I have to take this. No, can't it wait? Give it two minutes. Mashed potatoes wait for no one, Darcy. Hello? Darcy. John Arnett, Cypress Records. Are you ready for an early Christmas present? The CEO wants to sign you. He's bringing you in. You just have to sing a couple songs, impress the suits, and you're in. What do you think? You think you can do that? Of course, John. Uh, I, I just, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please, thank you. You know how many lousy demos I have to listen to every day? I mean, I, I should be thanking you more. <laughs> listen, uh, our CEO likes to announce all his new artists right at the start of the year, you know? Big splash, tons of press. But our CEO has uh, his holiday trip for the Maldives. He's leaving tomorrow night. So he'd love to see you tomorrow around lunch, if possible, you know, so we can hit the ground running as soon as he gets back. This is in New York? Yeah, Upper West Side. <laughs> You should see this guy's office. It's it's unreal. Yeah, uh, the thing is, um, I'm not in town at the moment, uh, so it might be tough for me to get back. Where are you? Uh, in Dayton with my sister and my niece. We have Christmas plans and... OK, OK, hey, no problem. Listen, uh, how about we, uh, we fly you in tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. We'll see you in the afternoon and have you back in Ohio for Christmas Eve. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that, that's a thought. Um, it's just... 
My niece has this show tomorrow evening, and... It's bad timing. I get it. Uh, <laughs> and I can't imagine how much time you had to spend away from your family and friends over the years. But if you make this flight and you sing for them this one time, we're gonna get you everything you ever wanted. I'm so sorry, Gretchen. What can I say to make this better? I don't know, Darcy. You put me in this impossible position. If I tell you not to go, it's like I'm telling you not to take the thing that you've been fighting for, and I can't do that. And I will come right back. I'm, I'm gonna miss the concert, which stinks, but I'll be back for Christmas morning, I think. Darcy, Darcy, it has been so great having you here. Not one foot in the door here, but really here, here. And look at all the good things that you've done in the last two weeks. Megan is like a whole brand new person. And all those kids, and Adam, and me. When in the last two weeks have you walked into a room and found me crying? Never. That's progress. And that's thanks to you. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if you stayed here. I wonder the same thing. Well, if you're gonna stand around and silently debate your internal conflict, you might as well help me chop some chives while you're doing it. Come on. <laughs> I smell like my mouth. <laughs> Why is the football coach here? It's Freddie's dad. What? Yeah. Hey. I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Frederick Sr. Folks around here call me Rick. <laughs> I've got to tell you, I love your music. Oh, uh, let me guess. Sugar Rush. Well, I was going to say your last album four years ago. It's an absolute touchdown. I've never heard a more thoughtful meditation on what it means to be a contemporary woman in today's society. Nope. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Well, I should be thanking you for helping my son the way you have and my buddy Adam here. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. 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 There it is. There we go. Yep. Yeah. There it is. anything else? Oh, no, I'm good, thanks. Hey, I know that you're worried, but don't worry. Tomorrow's gonna go great. No, it's not that. I... Um, if I could just get everyone's attention for a minute, um, I have a bit of an announcement to make. Um, I was gonna wait till after the meal, but I, I don't think I should wait that long. <laughs> so I got word this morning that I have the opportunity to sign with a major record label. What? <laughs> oh, thank you, thanks. Um, but unfortunately, it's a bit of a good news, bad news situation. Because in order to sign with this label, I need to perform for them in person tomorrow. I, I need you guys to know how proud I am of every single one of you. You guys united the groups. You united us. <laughs> you inspire me, truly. I never thought that I would be singing in New York, but wishing I was hanging out with high school kids in Dayton. <laughs> <laughs> please, please know that I, I am going to get 
tons of videos from Megan's mom, dozens and dozens of videos, so all the videos. I don't have enough storage space for all the videos that she's gonna send me. <laughs> um, I am so, so sorry. I feel like I'm letting you down. No. they could see me every day. It's your night, I didn't want to get in the way. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you earlier. No, it's, it's okay. I'm excited for you, really. I just thought that we had a couple more days. That's all. Do you need a ride to the airport tomorrow? Oh, my flight is early morning. I wouldn't ask that of you. <laughs> Darcy, you can ask me anything that you want. I know that your life is about to change again <laughs> in a really big way. And when you're traveling around the world again <laughs> to Paris, Buenos Aires, Rome, You get lonely like you did before. I'm just a phone call away. That's it, exactly. Yeah, I think if we just... Great, send her in. Hey, I'm gonna have to get back to you. No problem. All right, fantastic. Merry Christmas. Darcy, come in! Hi there. Oh, <laughs> so great to finally meet you! Nice to meet you, too. Oh, how was the flight? Everything good? Uh, yeah, yeah. The plane was delayed at the gate, so I came right here. Oh, I'm <laughs> but... sorry to hear that. You must be thirsty. Let me get you some water. Oh, yeah, that would Is be that great. Is that all right? Yeah. And uh, if there's anywhere that I can...
I heard her talking about you. What'd she say? Well, she said, Harold Angel, I'm back. One more time for Rebels Without Claws from Sam Clark. Surprise. What happened? Oh, God, the label loved me. They wanted me to stay and meet some more people, but I told them no. I told them that I could not miss my niece's Christmas concert. Lucy, your career, this is Christmas with the people that I love. And I realized that while it would be amazing to sign with a label again, it's just not enough anymore. And so I told him that while I know I would be spending a lot of time on the road, I'm gonna be making Dayton my home again. Oh. And I am never going to miss a Christmas with you and Megan ever again. <laughs> well, what did they say? Oh, they supported my decision. <laughs> Oh, and they signed me. Oh, yeah, of course, obviously. <laughs> Have you heard me sing? I'm amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to sing with broken ribs. Oh, <laughs> ribs are overrated. <laughs> okay, I am um, actually, I'm gonna go backstage and go say hi. No, no, you're too late. They're coming out now. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the Herald Angels. <laughs> God and sinners reconciled. Joyful are you, nations rise. Join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born, Christ is born, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. accept all the credit, could I? <laughs> I've re-employed competition. Wow. Is that unexpected? Oh, no, I definitely expected that to happen. <laughs> I liked your gift. Random attack of encouragement. You get used to that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch the kids sing? Yeah, absolutely.
I knew you'd come. I oh, thought you did, did you? <laughs> Thank you for everything. Are you kidding? I should be thanking you. Well, the judges have tallied their votes. And the winner is... For the seventh year... Yeah! <laughs> We did it. We did it.